comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. So here we go from Timo Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International fight week, the championship fights all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch there by Shaw. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Blocks that strike. Just misses with the right hook. Choi gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? And he landed the right hand there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Single collar tie here. Back and forth we go! And they separate. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gedalia goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stuck. Oh, huge right hand. Goes in and secures the takedown. And he gets it. All right, he 
right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. How good is that right hand? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Just missed with the left there. Huge knee land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Choi strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Back to the jab now, no good. Gedalia gets stung by that leg kick. Strike blocked by Gedalia. Big 
big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Effective punch there by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Gedalia's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Got clip with the right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful body kick. What a punch. Ten minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. gets up, but he looks dazed, he looks confused. Big kick land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Nice slip to avoid the left. Whoa! Dude's hurt, serve him up, go get him. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. All right, so there he goes, continuing... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves... Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Big body kick. Wow! Oh, Unbelievable. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get 
it up. And when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and bomb combinations. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to move. Oh! The Korean Superboy does it again! for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.